Hi, my Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign friends. My name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your mid-February 2017 Love and Romance Lenormand Prediction and Oracle Guidance Reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who have thumbs up, liked my videos, who have subscribed to my channel, who have shared my videos. I appreciate the comments, the kind words, all the love that you guys have been showing me. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm doing free reading, so if you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. I have also been having a blast helping you guys find your lost items. That is something that I have just recently introduced and I have, am having so much fun with it already. So please email me if you need help finding a lost item, if there's something that you've been looking for for a while, have no idea where it is, I would love to help point you in the right direction. And I think that that has been going very, very well. So please utilize me as a resource if you need help. These are general readings, so the messages are going to be for millions and millions of bulls. So please check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos to find a complete picture of your month. And also if these messages do not resonate with you, maybe your moon and rising sign videos will. I am also doing a drawing in which one person will win a free reading with me. This drawing is going to close at the end of February, on February 28th. All the details for my drawing are in the description box below. So please check those out when you are finished watching this reading. Also, I am doing Valentine's Day specials and the details for these specials are in the detail box below as well. All right, everybody, so let's get started with your messages. So what I'm doing here is I pull three Lenormand cards for you from my Lenormand deck, and I'm doing shorter predictions this reading. I did longer ones in my mid, I'm sorry, in my February videos. So for this one, I'm doing shorter readings because I would actually like to focus more on the Oracle Guidance messages that I have for you. So stay tuned for those after the Lenormand predictions. All right, Tauruses, so the cards that I pulled for you for your Lenormand prediction are the fish, the anchor, and the bear. The fish, the anchor, and the bear. And the card in the center here is the anchor, and the anchor deals with a stability, security, uh, faithfulness, reliability in your love or romantic relationship. So that is definitely a good sign. And the fish card here, it usually represents money, but it can also represent, represent an abundance of things. It can also represent a flow, a gush of emotions, of love, or things going smoothly. And the bear card that we have here deals with, um, it, there are good and bad sides to this, this card. Um, however, this does speak to security and abundance as well. I will get into the other side of this card very soon. Okay, so from taking these three cards together, sorry guys, I uh, accidentally stopped the video. This is my first time making them, so that's been Okay, so if it happens again, I apologize. Okay, so taking these three cards together, the fish, the anchor, and the bear, the three things that I see, or the two things that I see here is for uh, a positive side, I can see that many of you will be uh, experiencing an abundance of security, an abundance of stability, um, some subtly down trust, faithfulness, security, and things like that. So it looks like for some of you, it's just going to be a good overall stable month, um, likely for those of you who are in romantic relationships. I also see that um, your relationship will smooth smoothly, reliably, and some of you, because a fish deals with an abundance, some of you will be uh, experiencing an abundance of security, abundance of stability, faithfulness, resources, trust, and things like that. Um, the the anchor, I believe it's a good card to have in, in, in relationships. On the other hand, 
the bear, where it can represent security, it can also represent someone who is possessive, someone who is overprotective or overbearing in their nature. And taking that, um, and also the stability, the anchor card can also mean feeling tied and feeling stuck and uh, tied down. So this can also say that um, for some of you, you can be experiencing something where either um, a lot of emotions or um, it can literally be money for some of you since the fish card does represent money. So it can be um, some of you because of money, you're feeling tied and stuck down to someone who is very overprotective. That can be for some of you. Or there can just be um, an abundance of emotions keeping you feeling stuck and tied down to someone who is overprotective and overbearing. I definitely hope that it is um, the first scenario for most of you. However, this is a general reading, so this can resonate in many different ways. All right, so that is a very short prediction that I have for you. So now I'm going to take out your oracle cards. So I took um, four oracle cards here. I took three cards in the card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And the cards that I have for you here are number 26. Happy, happy. <laughs> I'm following the card everywhere. Okay, happy, happy. I really like this card. And I think that's an excellent card to have for the bottom of the deck as the overall energy. Okay. Building blocks. Number 28. By the book. Number 11. 11. And it came out in the reversed. And I also really like this card. Regeneration. This card um, came out in the reverse as well. Let's see that. Okay. Regeneration. So, my bulls. Okay. So, let's go back here. So, the first card that came out, or the card on the bottom of the deck representing the overall energy, is Happy Happy. And because this is a general reading, it's going to resonate with everyone in many different ways, if it does. Um, I'm hoping these messages do. And I'm looking at these, and I'm not exactly sure yet how they will tie into the rest of the cards, but we will see what messages come out when I um, start getting into the cards. And you will know how this resonates with you, but this is a wonderful card to have happy, happy, number 26. So number 26 resonates in eight energy, which has to do with power and strength. And this card, happy, happy, of course, has to do with joy, contentment, happiness, pleasure, um, all the beautiful things in life. It has to do with being happy from moment to moment, being happy in your everyday life from moment to moment, um, being happy exactly where you are. It's the speaking of not just wanting happiness in your romantic relationships, in your love life, not just wanting happiness, but experiencing it, knowing that it is yours every single day, waking up in happiness, going to sleep in happiness, um, eating in happiness, you know, just everything is about just being joyful, happy, light energy. This is also saying, um, for those of you who are in romantic relationships, being happy with your partner. And for those of you who are single, this is saying to... Spend this time being happy. Do whatever it can, do whatever it takes to make yourself happy. Spend this time being happy because if you are looking for a romantic relationship, if you're seeking romance, um, intimacy, partnership in your life, you do want someone who is happy. Um, you do want someone who is well suited for you, who is happy, someone who you're going to have pleasurable times with because that is what love is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about happiness and love and good feelings as opposed to negative feelings. So be happy, surround yourself with happy friends, surround yourself with happy people, do things that make you happy. And by that, you will be able to attract the type of relationship or the type of partner that you want, the one that's going to bring you happiness and love that you want. Because like attracts like, it's all about the power of attraction. So stay happy, happy. Okay, so the next card that we have here is number 28. Building blocks. 
And building box blocks, I'm sorry, resonates a 10 energy or one energy. So this has to do with a, um, an ending going on to a new beginning. So some of you may be um, starting a new phase, could be starting a new relationship or a new phase in your love and romantic relationships. And this building blocks card, it has to do with the foundation in which you build a relationship on. So it can do with the foundation of building a relationship with someone else or the foundation in which you go about uh, forming your romantic relationships. So I'm getting different things here. So for some of you, this is speaking of, um, this building blocks is speaking of an actual, you know, bring, bringing someone new into your life and starting a new relationship with this person and focusing on, this is saying to focus, for those of you who have recently met someone or started a relationship or something like that, this is speaking to um, look at the foundation in which you are building this relationship on, the building blocks in which you are building this relationship on, because you have to start a, a uh, you have to start off with a strong foundation in order to build the uh, best type of relationship. So this is definitely speaking to a work in progress, something that is happening now. So for those of you, again, who are meeting someone new, starting off in this process, Make sure that you build your relationship on a solid founda foundation. For some of you, I'm getting the messages up. Get to know everything you can about this person. Get to know everything that you can. Um, talk to them. Listen to them. Work with them. See how you guys can, can come together. See the foundation. With, with the best foundation you can build your relationship on. And then for others of you, I'm getting the type of foundation that you hope to build your relationships on. So there, for some of you, for those of you who have not met someone recently, for those of you who are searching for a relationship or um, in the process of, um, you know, seeking out partners and things like that, I'm getting a message of pay attention to what you build your relationships on, your values, your morals, what it is that you want in a partner, what it is that you want for yourself, what it is that you want for the long term, those of you who are seeking something long term, and things like that. So pay attention to the foundation in which you build your relationships on. And then also for those of you who um, are in existing relationships, this is also saying that you can be um, strengthening your relationships at this time, strengthening your relationships by focusing on the foundation on them, by focusing on the building blocks, um, by focusing on a genuine willingness, wantingness to get to know one another, get to spend time with one another and build a, a foundation together. So this can also deal with um, strengthening existing relationships. Okay. Alrighty, so the next card that I have here is by the book in the reverse. And this card is number 11. So this resonates a two energy, which is about partnerships. Okay, partnerships and, and balance. And from this by the book card, so in the upright, in the upright, this by the book card speaks to doing things as they have always been, um, so to speak, by the rule book. So going about things the way they've always been, doing things, you know, by the law, by tradition, um, by the way things have gone before, doing things the way they have been done before. And by the book in the reverse, this is speaking to going against that. So this is saying that... This is saying that now is the time to rebel against the norm, rebel against what you know, what others know, and things like that. So if there's a situation where you have been, um, for example, I'm getting something for some of you who have been looking for a type of, searching for a relationship or looking for a certain type of person, um, and this can even deal with this, you know, this can even deal with this building blocks and um, the morals and the values and things like that in which you normally go about um, forming relationships. And this is saying to go about things in a different way, go about things in a different way. So don't go by the book. 
Um, if you have a, a pattern of going for a certain type of person, maybe try someone else. Maybe try someone else who, um, you know, may be more suited for you. Um, for example, I'm getting for some of you, for some of you that go for physical appearances, um, go for someone who, you know, may be better suited for you in another way that may not normally look like the type of person you would date or something like that because this is a um, general reading. I'm sorry, I'm going to move my um, computer back so I'm not cut off anymore. Um, this is a general reading, so this is going to be for many type of um, scenarios, but this is saying in whatever way, go about things differently. So it could be a different way of thinking, a different way, uh, different beliefs. This can be if someone is, say you have um, a tradition or, or, you know, family, friends saying to go for one certain type of person. This is saying to go about uh, something in a different way, go about finding someone in another way, go about the type of relationship that you want to be in. The type that you want to be in, not the type that others think you should be in or that you should even think you should be in. Go about things the way you want to. Don't be afraid to change, okay? Because when you don't, going by the book is easy and simple and comfortable. This is a message that I'm getting for some of you. This isn't going to resonate with all of you, but going by the book is, sim is simple, it's easy, and it's comfortable. Going against the book and doing something different is much more difficult. Going against the norm is much more difficult. Just like inventing things is not always easy and simple. It can be a messy process. However, it is so worth it to go about things in a different way because you get to choose your own path. You get to do what's right for you and you get to do what brings you happiness because no one knows what brings you happiness except for you. So that's a message that I'm getting for some of you, not all of you. Um, and you will know if that message is for you. So this is also speaking about um, transformation, transformation and, and again, not being afraid to change not being afraid to change. And this card is also saying to, during this time when you're doing new things, look out for new ideas, new epiphanies, things like that. Um, some things may come to you spontaneously and they may be ideas that are different from ones that you've had before, new ideas and things like that. Look out for those ideas and those epiphanies because those may be the ones that will lead you in a new direction. Um, you know, sometimes we only know one way and new ideas come to us and it takes us going with those ideas and seeing them to, come, you know, seeing them through to fruition, coming, following through with those ideas in order to see this new imaginative um, way of being or plan or whatever it may be. And now that comes out. So don't be afraid to do something new. Okay. And the last card that I have here for you is the regeneration card and the reverse. And um, this card is also a 10 energy, just like, uh, which other one is? Um, building blocks, building blocks. So both of these cards are 10. So I do see, um, you know, a theme of an ending and a new beginning. And this also speaks to this regeneration card because that's what this is about. It's about an ending and a, and a new beginning taking place. Um, so let me just see what cards that we have here. So we have here, this is happy, happy eight. And we have... Um, this 10, this one energy for the building block. So we have one new beginnings, partnerships, and then again here, new beginnings. So, okay, so that new beginning, um, this ending, creating a beautiful new beginning is a theme that you guys will have going on during this time, um, in whatever way for, for you, since this is a general reading. So we have here the regeneration card and the regeneration card um, number 46 in the upright. It speaks to an ending and a new beginning happening. So this speaks to um, life has different cycles. And there's birth, we have life, disease, decay, and regeneration. Okay, so regeneration occurs after something necessary has ended. Something necessary has ended in order for something beautiful and something new and alive to take its place. So we have here regeneration. And in the reverse, this regeneration is saying that um, there may, for some of you, you may be having difficulties letting something die. You may have difficulties letting something go, letting a cycle in, letting something um, pass. And 
this is saying if there's something that must go, if there's something that must die, Taurus, please let it. Please let it go and please let it die. Because if there's something in your love and romantic relationships that you have been experiencing, again, we have this ending here for these tens and then this new beginning. So if there's something that you have been experiencing in your love and romantic relationships that is not serving you, something that is well over or something that needs to be over and is still lingering around. So this can be a person. This can be just, I mean, given this is love and romantic relationships, so it will be a person. But, you know, just an energy or anything like that, this is saying, um excuse me to let that pass let that end let that cycle let that disease let that what it is so again there's birth life disease death decay regeneration so if there's something that has died already there's something that has died or something that is diseased and needs to die let it go let it go because there's something that is so much more beautiful that is on its way on the other side and this is saying don't be afraid to do that because you are about to be reborn okay and i'm looking again down here again at this happy happy card and it could be that this process could be an actual very positive very positive one for you through this happy happy and even if it's not during this time it can you can be coming out of this feeling very um happy and joyful and content and like you came out um on top in this situation so okay let's see if i can just put a nice little um little summary here okay so again we have here so happy happy building blocks this is um the building blocks to your the foundation to your relationship building strong um secure valid uh foundations in your relationships you know doing something different by doing something different so this could be an existing relationship that you're in doing uh, foundations for your existing relationship going about something differently in your relationships now you know, letting something die in order for a new phase to be um, started up. Or this could just be in the way you're going about romantic relationships. So the foundation of the type of person you want to be with, who you want to be with, and things like that. Um, and going about somebody in a different way. Going about meeting somebody, dating somebody, the type of person that you are attracted to and all things in a different way. Um, allowing for... You know, this could be previous relationships, previous patterns or something like that, allowing that to end. So a new beginning, a new relationship, a new type of relationship or something like that can begin. Again, as I, I think I've said this right three times already, but these are um, general readings, so they will all resonate with you in different ways. But I do hope that you found this reading very helpful for you because those are the messages that I have for you, Taurus. I hope you find this reading helpful for you in the remaining part of February uh, 2017. Please thumbs up, like this video if the messages resonate with you. I would love to hear how if they do. If not, please check your moon and rising sign videos as well or check those videos also to get a more complete picture of your month, the ending portion of your month. If you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. If you would like help finding your lost items, powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. Please check the description box below for my monthly drawing and come back again next month soon for your March readings. All right. Thank you everyone so much. Enjoy the ending portion of your month. Thanks. Bye Taurus.